Hello everybody, I am back. I hope all of you guys are okay and safe. Um, so I thought of doing a new video about Trump, who else? Um, and I wanted to see what will he do after the elections? What is he planning? What is his strategy? Let's see if we can get something from the cards. I mean, like, we're all assuming that he will, um, you know, like he said, the, the white supremacist stand back and stand by. Like, he will uh, try to rile them up and cr create chaos. And, like, this is the logical deduction, knowing Trump. But let's see, maybe we can get something else from the cards. The magician. Hmm. This is him. It's like I see this guy's like cross armed. Like sit down, sit back, crossing arms. Um not not budging. It's like not budging. I'm not budging. I'm staying here. <laughs> Let's see, the moon, I mean, of course, it's fear and the high priest. I think that he's already planning now. It's, it's things are already underway. There's some sort of a lot of secretive energy here with the moon and the high priestess. A lot of behind the closed doors happening here. So probably if he might instigate in some way, uh, the the militias his militias and he will stand back like he will not act against something crazy maybe that they will do he will just sit back and watch uh he's using all his power the magician this is also like manipulative very manipulative energy there's already plans secret plans hidden plans a lot of secrecy here manipulation and he will stand back. He will not budge. He's like, he's not budging. He's sitting there. Uh, this is from the outside. It's kind of like this is the card for the Democrats or like the American people in general, the majority. It's also kind of like exposing, trying to expose things, but also this could be like they get the victory, like they get the vote. But at the same time, same thing with the child here. It's like they're dealing with crooks, they're dealing with manipulators, they deal there is this element of naivety in a sense. You know, it's kinda like being civil in an uncivilized, <laughs> brutal situation. Kinda like this. Like you go high, they go low. But it's uneven, it's unfair, because they go low, and you going high will not counteract the, the brutality of their attacks. So they kind of like this energy. So, we'll do another one. Okay, so this is Trump, yeah, battling, fight. So this is definitely his plan, to stir up fight, to stir up conflict. This is Trump's part. This is, these are Trump's card, and these are, uh, let's say the Democrats' card and the majority of people that want Trump out. Okay, so fighting, conflict, aggression. 
again the magician pulling the strings from behind um, ten of and the three of cups he had I can see from this three of cups like a group of his body friendship like alliances close alliances because um, he wouldn't manage to do this thing on his own alone he has people high up I like we know the Republicans in there but there are like people in kind of like a circle where they all agree to something and they're all you know on that on this plan of stirring up conflict and the king of sword I'm kind of seeing this as Biden um, trying to appeal to reason like speech the swords saying something clearly directly and probably Pelosi the Queen of Swords so I see the this male and female in a high position in a position of authority people with experience they will speak they will try to resolve somehow this conflict through communication let's see the Knight of Cups the fool like someone said like the the this fascist these bullies these people that are abusing um their power they only know power they only respond to power they don't respond to what's decent to what's moral they don't give a crap if they're being hypocritical and if they're being seen as hypocritical they don't care it's they, they only react to power so I think it, it's kind of this this type of problem it's like you're, you're being nice you're trying to be civil with a brute with someone who's ready to to run over you with a tank so I'm, I'm seeing this situation from these cards and it's not just Trump I see like at least three important figures here that they all agree on this on this this plan to stir up conflict um, let me see let's let's do one more again the power sadly they have the power in the senate the presidency they they have a lot of power and this is the the downside this is the um, let's see judgment they they're desperately trying to maintain control and with the judgment here they will i think that they will you know like they like they usually do project like in here in Romania we have a similar situation with a party here that is corrupt and that they always steal election they always manipulate people they also have their propaganda TV channels that people watch and people are being brainwashed by that and they're the ones stealing votes and they have been found out and then they go scream shamelessly <laughs> go on that their propaganda tv channels and say that the other ones are stealing and that the other ones you know like shamelessly so i think that the, it will be kind of this type of situation they're stealing votes they're uh, how to say voter fraud something like this they're, they're stealing they're not allowing people to vote they're being the one that are um criminals but they're gonna judge the other part they're gonna judge the other side that they of things that they are doing actually so, so the, the projection thing it's like it's very important for them this I see this as Joe Biden it's very important for them again with, to communicate things in such a way to maintain things to not 
um, going to a full blown conflict on a street with people. It's like it's most important for them to maintain control. The Hierophant. They're gonna try everything. Like they, they do everything by the law. So again, the Knight of Cups. The Democrats will do everything in their power to maintain things stable. They cannot rile the Democrats up against the Republicans because they know that this will it will not benefit anyone. It's like they're they're abiding by the law here with the harf and by the rules. They they make it a point that everybody has to respect the rules. That there's an order so that they, they will appeal to this the Democrats to to order to, to not get into conflicts so they're like kind of like desperate to man, maintain control of the situation so I see this asshole blowing the horn here like judging vomiting every despicable thing um against the democrats and like projecting probably what he's doing he's gonna project on the democrats that they are doing stealing votes and yeah and here with this it's money financial let's see what is this maybe this is how he can control certain people that support him through the promises of something about finances and maintaining some type of control. Let me see. Ooh. So it's like he's, he's um, going for this, for conflict. He's going for aggression. And the Democrats try to stop it. Will do anything in their power to stop it. But I'm not sure how it will turn out. Let's see. One more card. I still don't think that it will break into the, like a civil war or anything like this. So I think that they will be able to, to maintain the control to some extent. People will not fall for um, the manipulations that Trump is probably trying to instigate people against each other. So maybe they, whatever discourse they have, Joe Biden and Pelosi and whatever Democrats are there, um, I think that they will they will, they will manage to stop it. So I see Trump desperately trying to like to move it to to see this aggression force fiery action it's like he wants to stir things up he wants things to go nuts but they will the democrats will will stop it um or at least that's kind of what i'm picking up from these energies but who knows um uh, what can happen down the line because, you know, things are not set in stone. But this is what I'm picking up right now. Let me pull two more cards. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I see the Queen of Pentacles. Here for Trump, maybe is the the woman that he, you know, the religious fanatic that he just he will put on the Supreme Court. Maybe he's relying on her to not lose power somehow, because he's he's not gonna let it go. He's gonna blow the horn here, <laughs> play the victim, judgment, like deflect guilt on the others and try to say that. The elections were stolen from him and all this bullshit. He will not let it go because he's desperate. 
So it's like he's relying on her. I think he specifically put this woman there just to 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 manipulate the situation now. And it depends. I'm not seeing exactly what will happen because it depends on what the Democrats will decide to do. Like I'm seeing here a pending kind of decision. Okay, so this is it for today. So I think it kind of confirmed what we already guessed um, that Trump will do because he is desperate. But we'll see. We'll okay, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Take care. Bye-bye.